right, folks, and we're on the road to Lexington, Kentucky. Here we are with Cousin Davey. I'm going to show you Cousin Davey in a minute, but we're getting started on our road trip. I'm hoping to capture some, capture some footage from the toy headquarters in Lexington, Kentucky. Hells from Collector's Paradise, hosted by yours truly, Big Stevie Pump. Welcome to Tales from Collector's Paradise, on tour, a date with the Bluegrass State. That's right, folks. Today we take a special look into a trip to Lexington, Kentucky. That's right. And I wasn't alone. I had Cousin Davey by my side. And to, that's right, folks. Today, right here today, one of the biggest reveals in show history, the reveal of the infamous Cousin Davey. That's coming up here shortly. I'm going to give you the big Stevie bump guarantee on that. Yeah, that's right, folks. Uh, a lot of fun me and him had going to Kentucky and going to some of these stores. And we're going to show you that over the course of these next three episodes. Like I said, three-part miniseries. But in word has it, guys, while I was going to Kentucky, things were getting a little out of hand here in Collector's Paradise and in Collector's Paradise Arena. So we're going to take a look at some of that situation that went down while I was gone. But guys, I want to tell you what. How awesome was that t-shirt reveal in the last episode? I thought that was just absolutely outstanding. But enough about that. Big demand for those t-shirts. We'll, you know, we'll talk about that, you know, further later on down the line. But at any rate, guys, we got a lot, you know, for you today. An action-packed show. But thank you for continuing to watch, like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget, tell us from Collectors Paradise at gmail.com. There are all different kinds of ways to get in touch with Big Stevie Pump. But you know what, guys? We've got so much to get going into and get into today. Let's go! So here we go, folks. Here I go again, but not on my own. This time, we got Cousin Davey. So he's focused on driving. Uh-oh. There we go. He got to look at the camera anyway. We're on our way to Lexington, Kentucky. Hope to capture some cool footage. Stay tuned. All right, and we've made a quick pit stop in Bowling Green, Kentucky. So we're on our way to Lexington. Like I said, the toy headquarters, folks. Keep keep hanging with me. We're getting closer with every passing mile, but we've stopped off at the local Exxon here in Bowling Green, Kentucky, so we can make sure that we can complete our trip. Folks, there may not be a better feeling in the world than grabbing a Godfather's pizza in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Those there are the glorious pre-made slices i think we're gonna hook so you know what folks look at that that's an all meat pizza these are two for four and uh i got uh yeah pepperoni not looking too bad this is looking like it's already gonna be a great trip you know godfather's pizza in the gas station man i tell you what but let's dig in well here's the toy headquarters i'm not sure they got this mural here and uh, I don't know. It's We'll see. We'll get a look inside and hopefully they're going to let me film. Greetings, citizens! You know, being the leader of an evil terrorist organization determined to rule the world can really make a fellow parched. Huh. Property of Destro, huh? Not anymore. And that's why I only reach for the finest soda pop that embezzled money can buy. Because Cobra only shops at fellow organizations that are determined to rule the world. Plus, there's always the employee discount. So put a little venom in your veins. Where's my straw? Always buying toys, and they got the store hours and everything, so pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, they got this mask required, so let's go inside and let's talk to the people and see if they're going to let me film some footage. All right, 
I said, let's just get a look at this place. And I've talked to the employee. I'm not going to say his name because he said he didn't want to be on the camera. As long as he wasn't on here, I could film. So we're going to go with that. But already, man, a lot of cool stuff here. And uh, this big and bad collection in the back, you can see it's like a 12-inch style figure with Booker T there. And there's a Triple H kind of hiding in a Rob Van Dam. And looks like Jericho. Anyway, a lot of really cool stuff. We're going to get some footage here. I'll probably do several pauses, but real quick, uh, I noticed this Haku, and this is one of the figures from the LJN line I'm missing, and he's got the $450 price tag on him, and that's what he goes for. If you find Haku on eBay, he's going to cost you $450. Bucks. So, I mean, they've got a lot of loose figures that I'm going to dig into. This place is a wrestling figure destination. I'm glad that I could make it here today. They definitely have other stuff besides wrestling figures, and we're going to show a lot of that stuff, but just kind of real quick, just look at this aisle full of wrestling figures, and there's a cameo by Cousin Davey. They got all kind of stuff in here, and we're going to kind of walk around and show some of it. Here's some of the Masters of the Universe lines that we've been talking about at Walmart and everything, and this cool Bret Hart, Davey's saying that I should hook on this, and I made this Simpsons Bret Hart. It is way cool, and it is a convention exclusive there so i don't know but look at all of these loose figures that we're definitely gonna dig into here in just a minute and see if there's anything i need for the collection but man i'll tell you what i'm already look at this big stone cold for 30 there's so much in here it's gonna be hard to walk away without purchasing something and look at all these jacks classic superstars we're gonna go through them and see if there's anything oh the hammer instantly catches my eye there but uh anyway i'm gonna stop recording for a minute so i can dig and then i'll probably pick it up again and record some more but folks this is a heaven for big stevie pump and picking back up here you'll notice these this is what I, i've talked about these on my show here this legends of professional wrestling line and this is the bloody variant iron chic and if you notice here they did a lot of these bloody variants and these were sold at wrestlingsuperstore.com and there's the regular Nikolai Volkov but these were exclusives to them and they did this legends line and these are like the AWA Remco figures that I've talked about and I showed that Ricky the Dragon steamboat before on my show but uh, a lot of really cool stuff here there's a bloody Greg the Hammer Valentine variant <laughs> and like I said they got all kind of cool jacks stuff these jacks classic superstars and then pretty reasonable prices you know 30 bucks for godfather 20 for beefcake 30 for steiner i mean you know higher s 20 bucks it's just like 16 for dean malenko i feel like you know the mattel stuff and actually real quick up top here a bunch of rings along the top they're really making good use of their space here but uh the mattel stuff you know, here's a bad news brown i caught my let's see how much bad news brown is here Okay, 45 bucks, but there's never been a Mattel Bad News Brown, so that's the kind of thing. And I've seen Diesel here, and Diesel's only 20 bucks. I mean, I feel like it's a great deal for Diesel. But a lot of these figures got pretty reasonable price, and I still haven't went through all of these yet, which I'm going to momentarily. But there's Demolition there, catching my eye, for 85 bucks with the belts and with the masks. Very cool. Three-pack of the Heart Foundation. A lot of really cool cool stuff in here and superstar billy graham coming off the shelf there and look at that hogan for 65 that's that classic hogan that we i showed him in the epic battle of hogan's there but uh anyway i'm gonna stop recording again and pick it back up in just a minute as we progress on down the line but you can see there's so much stuff in here and we're barely getting started so and a lot of the jacks bone crunchers there and still more stuff up top and that's the pretty recently released uh mattel retro ring going for 80 which yeah that dried up quick that entrance stage is pretty cool there um you know that dried up pretty quick and it's in the secondary market it's gone through the roof but yeah like i said here's the you know a lot of these are from the mid 90s like this uh savio vega and stuff here this is by jack specific the bone cruncher line that they were doing prior to him doing the more uh the style like what we were showing with the classic superstars a few minutes ago anyway a lot of cool stuff we're gonna keep progressing through here 
and see what all they've got. And here's the Black Jacks, and believe it or not, that's JBL and Barry Wyndham here. Um, or excuse me, I had them reversed there, but yeah, Wyndham and then Bradshaw. But for 20 bucks here, I was talking to a buddy of mine a couple days ago about that, and there we go, the Godwins. Uh, that's a shout out to a couple of buddies, you know who they are. <laughs> And this Indiana Jones figure is actually pretty good. Yeah, I know. I pop it on the front. Of the front. <laughs> really, really my, uh, my buddy the Keith TV would store. be way into this. This from is actually really, really awesome, man. Well, not the store from the park. <laughs> really awesome. There's a little alien there for eight bucks. But, man, I tell you what, I really dig this uh, Indiana Jones. I actually really like that. And we've talked about these Fortnite figures before. And okay, you can pick him up for 10 bucks there. He's pretty cool. But uh, he's definitely a cool looking figure for a, for a Hamilton. Anyway, let's keep looking around. And here's like some Marvel uh, Select figures. And this cap for 25, I feel like that's a pretty fair price. But yeah, I mean, that's actually the one. I actually have that figure. But uh, some of these... Marvel Selects are pretty cool, man. This Thor, I feel like for 16 bucks is a pretty reasonable price for Thor there. $100 for uh, the Iron Patriot. But like these are, like look at this freaking Juggernaut, man, for 115 bucks. But man, is he awesome. He's like way cool. Sabretooth for $22. I mean, some of this stuff's got some pretty good pricing on it. Like I said, I feel like Anybody that made the trek to Lexington, to Kentucky for the toy headquarters would find something they would be interested in or like. They've got some more loose figures, superheroes. I see this uh, Adam West figure. And somebody else is coming in. I'm going to stop recording for just a minute. We'll get a look at that for 40 That's pretty nice. And we're going to hang tight for just a moment. And let's take a look at some of the footage that went down while Big Stevie Pump was in Lexington, Kentucky. I mean, some of this stuff is, you know, unbelievable. You're going to see this unfold over the next three episodes. And some of it, folks, let me go ahead and warn you, is some pretty graphic footage. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's coming slowly, and I'm not sure what's going to happen in which episode, but some things are unfolding. And let's just take a look. Okay, folks, and when we last left the arena, Zeppelin had destroyed it, but we're getting back under control here. And you see Shawn Michaels there, still being held captive by the Mandalorians there, Boba Fett and Mando. So let's keep seeing what else is going on in the arena, trying to recap everything. And you see here the Ultimate Warrior. I mean, he took such a nasty spill, he's wearing a neck brace. And there's Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Looks like he's got a couple of leg casts on. Junkyard Dog, Hillbilly Jim, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Tugboat, they're real concerned. Bam Bam Bigelow, like I said, the audacity of that guy. He's eating a freaking hot dog. Big Boss Man strolling up on the situation, trying to make sure everything's under check. And that looks like uh, Jamie Noble and uh, Joey Mercury there, just some regular old uh, office hands. And uh, we've seen Michael Myers, and this is a little concerning, him coming into the arena with, a, he's got the mop bucket and a little trash can and a broom. I mean, this guy's, you know, down for some janitorial work for sure. Then we got William Regal checking on Renee Young and random event staff guy. She took was taken out by Zeppelin too, folks. I mean, it was a pretty nasty spill. Zeppelin just broke in. He didn't have a ticket. He just showed up unannounced, hostile takeover style, and just made a complete wreckage of the joint. And, you know, let's take a look at DX. They're, they're plotting. Oh, look at Hornswoggle, folks. Are you kidding me? He is setting on Baby Yoda. What a bully. I mean, the WWE preaches, preaches anti-bully, and there you got Hornswoggle bullying Baby Yoda. Unbelievable. The, just an absolute nerve and audacity of that guy. But considering he's hanging out with the likes of Triple H, it makes perfect sense. And there's DX. Like I said, they're all plotting, folks. They're, Triple H is laying it down there and Frickin' Hornswoggle, can't believe him, that him of all people would do this. He, What do we got here? Savage and Liz, they've made their way to Hulk Hogan. Looks like we got a big ultimate mega powers handshake, folks. They're striking a deal. Holland Nash is looking on there. Okay, what's going on up here? There's Big Stevie Pump. And I'm going to tell you what. Big Stevie Pump looks like he's had just about enough of this mess. And you know what? Yep. He's summoning everybody to the arena. Big Stevie Pump wants all these personalities 
to come to the ring and he's going to lay it down, folks. Let's stick around and see what Big Stevie Pump's got to say. All right, and picking back up, let's see here. We got a bunch of superhero stuff. DC, I think DC's on one side and Marvel's on the other, but uh, a lot of really cool stuff here. Like I was saying earlier, it's definitely worth the trek to Lexington, Kentucky to check out the toy headquarters. I'm sure that you'll find something you would be interested in. All kind of cool stuff here. Pretty reasonable pricing. A lot of loose figures too, if you're looking for that. I mean, closed figures, loose figures. I mean, they even got some 112 stuff back in the corner in the display cases. So some higher end stuff as well. Check out that big Batman for $100 there. And there's a that one for $150. Very cool. And these uh, box sets here is kind of like a Superman through the year kind of years kind of a cool thing there i love coming to places like this because you never know what you're going to find even some loose marvel guys or excuse me dc guys like i said the marvel guys are on the other side but there's a adam west batman the same one that's in this three pack here for 40 and i remember seeing this at toys r us not too long before they went out of business actually this old this pack right here is very heavy it's only 25 bucks it's like, I don't know if it's the stands or what. I'm guessing the stands in there are like metal, but it's very heavy pack. Bunch of this Marvel Select stuff, way cool. Some of it, like I said, some of it, I mean, it's you know priced accordingly, but at the same time, a lot of it, you can get some really good deals, like Captain America for 25 or, you know, Doctor Strange for 20. I mean, so a lot of really good deals on some of these figures. And of course, you know, some of the rare ones are, priced accordingly and like i said you know 16 bucks for thor i mean that's definitely cool you know like i said i this uh juggernaut there for 115 i think i already showed him but i'm showing him again you can never show the big old juggernaut like that enough so anyway a lot of cool stuff here it's magneto the green goblin for 20 i mean these these marvel select figures are really cool they're really nice spidey for 25 a lot of really cool stuff here and I'm gonna have to go through some of this I'm gonna stop it here and go through some more things check out that cap way cool ghost rider there and once again some loser to loose red skull for a $16 doctor strange for 10 but yeah this is there's another doctor strange for 20 like I said reasonably this abomination for 28 I feel like that's a hell of a deal this Punisher, I remember this with the uh, pinball machine. That's really cool. This Marvel Select, I remember when that come out, seeing that. Then a bunch of your other, you know, standard fair Marvel figures. It's out in the stores these days. And these uh, these retro ones, these uh, kind of, this homage of Marvel 80 years that they're putting these out. And you can find those in the stores and obviously here at the toy headquarters. But a lot of really cool stuff. And here's Cousin Davey, you know, deep in thought as he's looking over these Marvel figures. And we got over here like some Power Rangers stuff. G.I. Joe, kind of another classic 80s stuff. And really cool on these old school 25 year anniversary carded Joes. Oh yeah, check out that Destro for 15 bucks. Like I said, just all sorts of really cool stuff in here and you've got a lot of these masters of the universe classics and of course we got the origins line coming out here in the next few months not sure exactly when those are going to hit but before too long but these are the uh the classics a little bit you know higher end on these he-man guys that they're doing masters of the universe you've got a lot of them in the the collector box that they come in lord of the rings stuff cool 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 and i noticed this big ufc section and i actually I'm really struggling right now with this Dana White for 30. I kind of wish they had him loose, but that's one of the only figures out of this entire UFC line that I never got. That was an exclusive. I remember, I think it was on ringside collectibles, I believe, but that was an exclusive that uh, you could only get there. And I kept thinking, oh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. And then what do I say? If you don't get it, you won't get it. So if you delay and you think about it, you're going to miss out. So that's, you know, that's always my motto. Here we got the horror figures. We got you know, Scream for 60 bucks. Nice. Bunch of Alien versus Predator. And I was actually looking at these Ghostbusters. These are the Mattel ones. 
uh, that come out before now that Hasbro has the license. And 10 bucks a piece, I'm almost wanting to hook just to show those in comparison to the, the new ones, but I think we're gonna hold up since I am, I'm getting a pile of stuff. I'm already piling some stuff up front. So, I'm not gonna buy these guys. There is another Ghostbuster piece I'm gonna show you in just a minute that's really pulling out my wallet there. Cousin Davey, the enabler, the bad influence trying to talk me into to hooking on some stuff here. Let's go ahead and just take a quick peek, quick peek at this Star Wars stuff. Like I said, man, you know, I'm you know showing some of this stuff so you guys can see what all's in here and it's talking to the, the owner some and he says it's the store changes every time. You never know what you're gonna see. He's constantly buying toys, always buying stuff, always trying to keep new stuff in stock, which as we know in the toy game is not always easy to do. Stuff is scorching hot, people's looking for it. You know, and I found a really cool piece over here that I'm going to showcase here in just a little bit of figure I've been chasing for 20 years. I've already got it laying on the counter. And look at the pops, man. Look at these giant pops. This Kool-Aid, man, he's cool for 30 bucks. But uh, really, really awesome. So these must be, these are some of, I guess, your higher end pops or your exclusive stuff. And oh, here's a Ghostbusters. This isn't what I was talking about, but that's actually pretty cool, man. That's from the, the newer, the, the female Ghostbuster movie that happened, but I tell you what, <clears throat> check out this wall of pops. That's all pop vinyl. So if you're into that sort of thing, into the pops, and as you know, if you're watching my channel, you know I don't do a ton of the pops, but I still think they're cool. And I mean, if you're looking for pops, this is a place that you could very potentially come and see what you're looking for. Lots of, lots of pops, man. I don't even want to open that can of worms right now because there's no telling what I might find. Sludge Queen, she's always pulling at my wallet as well, trying to get me to hook on all sorts of stuff for her. So we're going to try to not look too deep into these pops. But we're going to keep cruising on down the line here. Some of these big aliens, and that's awesome. For 165, the big alien, the predators beside them. Very cool, man. Very cool. Here's a little bit smaller alien an 18 inch version for a hundo for a franklin there you can whip it out and purchase that but a lot of cool stuff i like this rambo that's cool this old school NECA rambo what's behind there oh it's a it's a freddy with a skateboard from nightmare on elm street very cool but yeah lots of horror figures and here's these some of these ghostbusters these are the the uh, Diamond Select Ghostbusters, and actually really cool, 20 bucks a piece. They got Slimer here, uh, you know, It. This is uh, really a lot of cool stuff in here, man, and I'm really digging on this place. And uh, back in the corner here, we'll kind of get into some of this. I mean, look at this glass case, and I'm thinking a lot of these are the, the Build-A-Figures, like the deluxe ones after, you know, you buy you know four or five figures, six figures, whatever, and you build the figures like this big Galactus, man, or whatever, or, you know, giant Ant-Man back there, whatever. It's just way cool Kingpin, you know. Well, I guess we got some Hulk busters down here, and then this, you know, Red Hulk, man, and then another Hulk, a lot of really cool stuff. And I appreciate these guys letting me showcase their store, man. I talked to them up front, like I said, and made sure it was cool. And they said, you know, just don't don't show us, but we're cool with it. So very awesome. I appreciate them letting me take the opportunity to put this on my show for you guys because this is a lot of cool stuff. Kiss Psycho Circus, man. Dragon Ball Z stuff. And then I was looking at Mick here from this Rocky line, and I love these Rocky figures. But this is a uh, house in the city here. Muppet figures. I mean, man, I'll tell you what, this place, they got lots of cool stuff. We got this display case, and I noticed this one. This is actually a Nikolai Volkov. If somebody's painted into a custom Sergeant Slaughter, that caught my eye. I mean, like I said, there's just kind of little nuggets all over the place. The Han for 145. Rees over there catching my eye. <laughs> Some loose stuff down here. Maybe I'll get an opportunity to go through that. Someone says modern Star Wars, uh, some NECA stuff, Marvel three and three quarter. Oh, that Thanos is catching my eye back there. Pretty cool stuff. And yeah, this is what I was talking about. This, I've been really struggling with this Ghostbusters pack. I've been thinking about it. 
I may have to hook. Here it is for 45 bucks right in front of me, so I may have to go on and hook on that. Simpsons playing, cool. Have stuff going on the TV in your shop. Women's Championship belt there, SmackDown, cool. And this is a graded figure, and that's the thing we haven't really got into too much on my show about the grading of figures. And one day we'll get into a long, uh, longer discussion about that, but that's something that's obviously very popular that's happening. Check out this big Ninja Turtles box for 125. That's actually pretty awesome with all those turtles in it. Some collectible busts, you know, statues and busts rather. Several Hulk statues here. That's pretty cool. Cool, cool, cool. Some Masters of the Universe stuff down there. Let's keep rolling on along and check out this old Robin there that catches your eye some of this stuff just really jumps out at you as you're walking along and that's what's cool And I think you'll never see the same thing twice man It's just like you keep coming through here and think new things just keep catching my eye. I'm glad we made the couple of hundred mile trek from Nashville to Lexington, Kentucky and like I said once again very grateful to these guys for letting me showcase this stuff And this is like I say in the display cases a lot of this stuff back here is this 112 stuff and these are like the highest of quality figures i mean you know you can nowadays with the collectibles game you can pay as much as you want for figures they've got stuff that's so limited so rare and you can pay hundreds of dollars for just a six inch figure you know the 112 are kind of on that scale you know one one inch is uh one foot in theory kind of along those lines but uh anyway check out this big cool fight club box for 300 that's like really cool but like i said all this stuff in this back collectible case this is all a lot of your high dollar stuff a lot of your rare stuff Thanos glove the reservoir dogs hanging up there another cool piece and this is like an autographed uh, Stanley autograph wow just hanging out right there right there and open Stanley autograph that's cool man and then we'll come on around to the wrestling figure section we've showed a lot of this but we're gonna close in from the other side here and you know Lots of cool stuff here. I mean, just look up top here. You know, they're using, they're doing a good job of maximizing their space. And there's that retro ring. Like I said, we've talked about a lot of this here. Real quick, I think I showed that Indiana Jones. Yeah, but there's that. But you can just kind of see the, the layout of the land. And I mean, you know, lots of wrestling figures. If you're into that, which obviously I am. And I have picked up a few pieces over here today. Very cool. But uh, anyway, this video is starting to run a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and get close to winding it down as we close in here towards the the front. But you kind of get a gist of the, the story. The store. The story of the store. Anyway, yeah, you can just kind of see. Back here is a little empty, but up front they got all kind of stuff. Like I said, trying not to get the employees in there. There's Cousin Davey again. Whoop, there's an employee walking. We'll switch around here. Like I said, they asked me to not show them, so I'm going to respect their wishes. I definitely appreciate them letting me take all this footage because this is way cool. Really worth the trip. Come check it out. Okay, folks, and there you see. The Mandalorians, Mando and Boba Fett's got Shawn Michaels and looks like they're making their way to the ring. And what do we got going on here? I mean, folks, there looks like there's quite a bit of people out here. I guess when Big Stevie Pump summoned everybody to the ring, I mean, I guess all the guys in the locker room took it literally. Look at Bam Bam Bigelow still eating a freaking hot dog. Rumor has it that's his third. I, you know... Hakeem there and Big Boss Man, I mean, Jake the Snake, I mean, all kind of personalities have made it out to hear what Commissioner Big Stevie Pump has to say. I see Roddy Piper, the Million Dollar Man, Virgil, I mean, they're all out here, folks. And look at this flagrant disrespect. I mean, Hornswoggle, I mean, he is about turning my stomach. Look at it, that's crap. Now he's standing on Baby Yoda. I mean, unbelievable. Look at this group DX. They're out here. Then it looks like Hogan's allies are out here. You got Holland, Nash, and Hogan, and Savage there, and Liz, and Commissioner Pump. So what does Commissioner Pump have to say to all these people? Maybe he's waiting for Shawn Michaels to get to the ring, 
And then we'll hear what Big Stevie Pump has to say, folks. Hang tight. And guys, all right, here we are back. And man, I hope you enjoyed today's show. This was an action-packed show, and I enjoyed putting it on for you. And, you know, there was a long look at uh, the toy headquarters in Lexington, Kentucky. And, you know, I like I said, I hope you, you know, enjoyed that. And maybe, you know, hopefully down the line I'm going to get to do more of these things, more of these tours and go to some of these other stores. But there's still some more stores to come in the next couple of episodes plus. You know, I did buy a few things there, but I'm not going to show you that until the final episode, you know, the culmination of it all. So, you know, it's going to, you know, build and you'll see what I did find while I was up there on my toy hunt and everything with Cousin Davey. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but uh, guys, thank you again for continuing to watch, like, comment, you know, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, Big Stevie Pump out! Hells from Collector's Paradise, hosted by yours truly. Big Stevie Pump. I just can't believe the way that they're treating Baby Yoda. I mean, you know, it's just, man, you just try to take a little trip to Lexington, Kentucky, and on a little toy hunt, and I mean, your, your freaking action figures up in your room in the collector's paradise, they just start going nuts. I mean, what next?